Okay, Khabra, I'm gonna repeat in English what I was saying before. Um, regarding this tragic event that happened last night in Miran, Lagboimir. I think that uh, it's needless to say that we are all speechless. We are, we are unable, we're not able to articulate our feelings of this whole thing. You know, on one hand, it's most, such a holy day, such a holy getuk, and Phyllis, in the holiest place, such a thing could happen. So there's a shkofa pain, there's emotional pain, there's sadness, there's a lot of grief. People that we know, people that we don't know, and you didn't care for each other. So such a tra in such tragic, tragic times, what do we think, how do we, how do we make sense out of all this? So I want to say it's a trauma, like anything else. What is a trauma? A trauma is when there's some sudden information sent to our brain, to our system, to our emotional system tragic uh, information that comes to us suddenly the brain doesn't have time to process it this is called a traumatic event trauma when trauma comes it's this is what makes us feel uncertain it makes us uh some people have even bad reactions we feel uh, anxiety or lost or all kinds of feelings so first of all uh, first and foremost so we have to let our body our emotional system our brain process the event that happened and the only way to do it is by speech by speaking about it talking about it putting it into words so we need to listen to our inner feelings and let's talk about it some people try to push it aside now nah, we got to be happy anyway it's like boy let's just focus on the good it's not true and it's not healthy we need to talk about it and we need to let our spouse and our children talk about it. We need to ask our children, what did you hear? Tell me the story. They say it again and again. It gets processed and it gets filed in the right place in our brain system. After this is done, we are ready to go into the next level, which is called a minna and understanding and talking about Hashem, that Hashem does everything in the world and everything as a cheshbon. We don't know why. No, none of us should dare to tell ourselves or to tell someone around us, oh, it happened because of this, because of that. We don't know why things happen. Things happen because Hashem wanted to. When we wake up every morning, we need to say, what do I have on my plate and how do I deal with it? We don't ask, why did this happen? Why today? Why is it raining on such a day? Why? There is no answer for why. If anybody tells you they have an answer for why, something happens, they're lying. There is no why. There's only what do I do about it and how do I go about it? So when it comes to this particular event, this Lagboimit event, there is so much Ashkafic pain. How could it happen such a highly good talk? And how it happened, There's such good Yidin, they went to Daven, they went to do such good things and something like this happens. And then there's just the most, the regular pain of watching so many families, thousands of people are living through loss unbelievable pain and we need to talk about it and vent and once we're done as I said before that's the moment you're able to go into a muna and understanding and to work Gamzi Lutoive you say when you lose something you say Gamzi Lutoive after you gave out your initial pain we cannot say Gamzi Lutoive we teach our children sometimes to say Gamzi Lutoive it happened Hashem wanted if you're not really up to it it's it's just gonna make it worse and you'll never get overcome your pain so I'm, i don't want to leave this message too long but really we need to talk about it let's vent about it and we'll have it out and the metz Hashem very soon we'll be able to get to uh, a higher level and to a healthy level of a minute and betuchen and let's hope mashiach should come very very soon we should be able to to know the answers finally i get shabbos